Oh. Okay. So yeah, again, this is um, congruence and similarity together. Congruence, that's what this question is all about here, question with all these shapes. What they're gonna ask us, let me, let me remind you of the words. So, cause we, we've, up to this point, we've, we've studied congruence and we've studied similarity, but this is a really good section to help you to make sure you understand both of them together at the same time. So um, what is congruence first? Well, congruence means identical. That's the clearest way I can say it. Two shapes are congruent if they're identical, like everything's the same. One of them would fit right on top of the other. They are identical. Like, yeah, we we'll leave it at that. And, um, and next, simil similarity. Remember what similarity means. Same exact shape, but, but, let me see, but may be different sizes, huh? They can be, they don't have to be, but they may be different sizes. So same exact shape, but they may be different sizes and um, they have equal ratios, equal side ratios, I should say. Equal side ratios, that's what similar. Similar triangles have equal side ratios. Okay. <clears throat> So the first question coming down here um, is, <clears throat> excuse me, which figures are congruent to triangle ABC? And again, congruent means identical, completely and totally the same in every way. Well, where's triangle ABC? It's right here. Let's take a look at triangle ABC. Notice that triangle ABC, let's just count his sides. He's got one, two, three, four. And then the other side is one, two. I'm not gonna bother with the diagonal. It just, you know, it, it's diagonal. It's hard to tell, but it, it just connects the, the side that's linked four and the side that's linked two. I'm gonna make that a little bigger for us, right? So triangle ABC, the main one that we're focused on has one side that's linked four and another side that's linked two, okay. Well, now let's go through all the other triangles and figure out their side. Let's start with triangle one. So triangle one is what? One, two by one. Triangle one is a two by one. Okay. Triangle two is a one, two on this side and one, two, three, four. So triangle two is a four by two. Ah, notice triangle two is identical to, to triangle ABC. You all see that? In fact, I'm just gonna do it with the same colors just so it's more clear, right? It's a two by one, two, three, four, just like triangle ABC. Those guys are the same. You see that? Triangle two is just turned sideways, upside down. I mean, it's just upside down from triangle ABC, but they're, they're exactly the same triangle. They're both a two by four triangle on their two sides and then whatever that diagonal is, it's gotta be the same because they're both a right triangle with one side two and the other side four. Right, they're identical. By the way, how could I prove they're identical? That's side angle side. They both have the same side, angle in between is 90 and other side. They both have a four and a two and the angle in between is 90. A four and a two, angle in between is, and that's called side, angle, side. Remember those three letter combos we learned to prove that two triangles are identical? So yeah, those two triangles have to be identical by side, angle, side. They both have the same two sides, four and two, and the angle in between is, is 90. So they are identical. So triangle two, I'm gonna click this box here, triangle two, let's keep moving. What about triangle three? Triangle three now, is what one two three four five by one two 
triangle three is a five by two. So that's just different, isn't it? That's just totally different. Let's go to triangle uh, four. What is triangle four? Now he looks really weird. One, two, three, four, five. He's five. That's the hypotenuse. That's the side that's across from the right angle. I don't even know what his other two sides are. They're both kind of going diagonally. It's hard to tell. So I'm just going to leave him. He just seems totally different also. Uh, let's go down to triangle five. Uh, triangle five is a one, two, three on this side and a one, two, three, four. He's different. He's a three by four. He's not the same as ABC. ABC is a two by four, like triangle two is. Okay, let's go to triangle six. Six, notice, is a one, two, three, four by one, two. He's the same. Right, he's, he's got a side that's four, a side that's two, and the angle in between is 90. By side, angle, side, he's identical. He's completely the same as triangle ABC. So there's another one. So six, two and six are exactly the same as the original triangle ABC. How about seven? Seven's a one, two, three, four, by one, two. Seven's the same. Six and seven and two, are identical, aren't they? All right, let's go to triangle eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, by one, two, three. Six by three, no, he's different. Then how about triangle nine? One, two, three, four, by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four by eight, no, he's different. Okay, so the only triangles so far, uh, well, the only triangles that are identical, so far we've only answered this question, are two, six, and seven. So there's triangle ABC, which is exactly the same as triangle two, six, and seven. Those guys are identical. They're just turned sideways or upside down or whatever, but they are identical, proven by side angle side, two sides and the angle in between are the same. They both have a two and a four with a 90 degree angle in between. All right, next question, which figures are similar? Similar, now remember what similar means? Similar means same exact shape, same kind of shape, but maybe different sizes. And, and specifically, equal side ratios, right? Equal side ratios. So, so first off, do you realize that automatically we're gonna bring down two, six and seven. Now you might say, wait a minute, sir. those are congruent, they're not similar. Well, similar inclu includes congruence. Do you know what I mean? If two shapes are congruent, if two shapes are identical, that's what congruent means, identical, then for sure they're similar. Does that make sense? I hope, I hope you're not confused by this definition over here. Similar, it means same exact shape, and write it clear for you like that there we go same exact shape but maybe different size they don't have to be different sizes they just may be they may be different sizes so those are for sure that'd be like if you had two identical twins so if there were two identical twins and then what if somebody said to you what if you're telling a story about about some friends you have that are two identical twins to another friend and your friend said oh did they look similar you would, you would kind of smile at your friend and go, well, of course they look similar. They're identical twins. Well, that's what we're saying here, right? Triangles two, six, and seven are congruent to triangle ABC. They're identical to triangle a ABC. So for sure they're similar, for sure they're similar. Now there's some other ones also though. It's not just those. There's also some other ones. Do you see the other triangles that are similar? Remember, equal side ratios. Let's let that be the key that guides us in this problem. Let me box this right here. Equal side ratios. What are the ratios of for, for triangle ABC? What are his side ratios? What is um what is his long side over his short side for triangle ABC? It's four over two. And you could do short over long. It doesn't matter. I'm just picking any which way. So for triangle ABC, the long side over the short side is four over two, right? He's got one side twice as long as the other. 
Do you see any other triangles that do that same kind of thing? They have one side twice as long as the other. Just like ABC does. Yeah. And Martine's pointing out triangle nine. Look at that. Exactly. Right on. Good observation. Triangle nine has one side twice as long as the other, doesn't it? So for sure, triangle nine, I'm going to write this up here. Triangle nine, he's eight over four. That's the same ratio, right? Eight divided by four is two, just like four divided by two is two. Same, same ratio. Yeah, and Leslie's pointing out triangle eight. Good job. Look at that. Both eight and nine, look at triangle eight. He's six by three. His longer size, that's triangle eight. He's six divided by three. That's, that's the same. Again, his longest side is twice as long as his shortest side. So he's the same thing. He's just a bigger version, isn't he, of triangle ABC. There are more? Yeah. And Cynthia's pointing out triangle one. Good job. Exactly. Did you notice triangle one up here? is a two by one. That's also, that's just a smaller version of the same ratio. Let me write that one out. Two by one. Triangle one's a two by one. See how all those guys have the same ratio? Does that make sense? We good there? Yeah, exactly, Nicholas, you got it. We've already got the triangle two, yeah. Good, and then that's it. So in other words, we're going to add triangles 9, 8, and 1. So triangle 1, and then triangle 8, and triangle 9. All those triangles are similar to the original triangle ABC. Does everybody see that? So we've got triangles 2, 6, and 7 that are totally identical. So they're certainly similar. And then in addition, we found triangle one, eight, and nine. Why? Because it has equal side ratio, same ratio. The long side to the short side, it, just like for triangle ABC, which is four divided by two, triangle eight, nine, and one all have the same ratio. Long side divided by short side comes out to be two. Four divided by two is two. Like eight divided by four is two. Like six divided by three is two. And two divided by one is two. Yeah, so that means those are all similar, meaning they're the same triangle. One's just a blown up or shrunk down version of the other. And then that's what they get to in the next question. Which figures have been transformed from triangle ABC by a dilation with a scale factor greater than one? Now, we haven't used those words before. Let me mention what a dilation is. So uh, if you go to the eye doctor to have your eyes examined, one of the first things they usually do is dilate your pupil. They put some chemical in your eyes that makes your pupil open up so they can see in there better and do the examination they need to do on your eyes if you've, if you've experienced that. So, so dilation is an enlarging. Your pupil just opens up and gets bigger. So dilation is, is, a, is changing the size. To dilate something is to change the size. So a triangle dilation is a changing the size of a triangle. And this particular says scale factor greater than one. The one's over here. I'll just move it over so we can see it better. Scale factor greater than, which means what? Larger. If you make the scale, if you scale it bigger than one, remember we had scale factor in some of that earlier homework. When the scale factor is larger than one, that means you made it, you made it bigger. Whereas down here, let me give you a comparison. Down here, again, it's dilation. Again, we're changing the size. And the scale factor, again, the ones over here, I'll move it over, is scale factor is less than one, meaning you're, you're making it smaller. So what they're asking on these two questions is they're saying, okay, which, which figures uh, have just had the size change to be larger. I want to choose those options. And then which figures have just had the size change to be smaller? So basically, do you realize that whenever we're talking about changing the size, 
we're talking about a similar triangle. Same thing down here. Similar triangle, right? Because if you just change the size, you, you, you don't change the shape. Let me, let me mention that. The shape is the same. That's why it's similar, right? The shape is the same. That's why it's similar. The shape is the same. So um, same exact shape. So in other words, similar triangles. So whenever you do, so like, look, look at triangle five here for a minute. That's on your screen, right? Look, I just dilated triangle five gigantically on your screen, right? I made it big, big. But that shape that's right before your eyes now, it's, it's, it's much wider on your screen and taller now, isn't it? If I shrink it back down, notice it's the same exact shape. It's just smaller now. So when you dilate something, make it bigger or make it smaller, it's similar. It's the exact same shape. That's what similar means. This says right here, same exact shape, but maybe different sizes. So whenever we talk about dilating something, making it bigger or smaller, we're keeping it a similar shape. So they're asking, which, which if you got triangle ABC, which is our starter. And they're saying, if you take triangle ABC, your starter, and you make it, Larger or smaller, which of the shapes are just a larger version of triangle ABC? And which of them are triangle ABC, but a smaller version? Let's start with larger. So I wanna say which, which of these shapes up here are just a larger version of triangle ABC? So what do you think? Do you remember which ones are a larger version? Look at these ratios over here. These are all the ones that are similar. Do you see that these two are large? Triangle eight and nine. They're both larger versions. They're similar to triangle ABC, meaning they have the same ratio of long side to short side, just like triangle ABC does four to two. Triangle nine is eight to four and triangle eight is six to three. That's the same ratio right? Larger side divided by smaller is still two, but they're bigger triangles. Eight and nine are bigger versions of triangle ABC, basically is what that's saying, isn't it? Triangle eight and nine are just big versions of triangles, of triangle ABC. And so that's, that's the answer here. Eight and nine are the big versions of triangle ABC, scale factor greater than one, dilated. And then for their next question, which one is smaller? Well, that's triangle one. Triangle one is a smaller version, right? Look right up here at triangle one. See how he's two by one? He's the same thing, two by one. That's, that's the same ratio again. Longer side to shorter side, same as ABC, but, but it's just a smaller version. It's two by one instead of four by two. It's a smaller version of the same thing. So. Our answer down here is triangle one. There's a smaller version. And then their final question. Their final question is, which figures are neither congruent nor similar? They're just different. They're just totally different shapes. They're not identical. <clears throat> they're not similar. <clears throat> Excuse me, they're not, they're, they're just totally different shapes. Which triangles are totally different shapes? Well, you can tell, probably you can tell, the triangles that are different shapes, those are uh, three, four, and five. Three, four, and five, right? Because they're the three we left out of the similar stuff. Right? Three, four, five. Three, four, five are not similar. They're just different shapes. They're not even similar, let alone being totally identical. They're not even similar. Three, four, and five. You can take a look at the diagram. Three, four, and five are just totally different shapes. See how three here is a two by five? That's just different than a two by four. It's not just a blown up version because it's got the two the same, but the other side's five instead of four. That's just different. The triangle four is just totally different. See, he's got, he's got like his longest side is a five and the other two are diagonal. This, this triangle doesn't have any fives. So that's just different. And then triangle five is a three by four. 
Again, one of the sides is the same as the four, but the two is different than the three. So it's, it's not the same shape. It's not just a blown up version or shrunk down version. It's just different. It's just totally a different shape. So three, four, and five are just totally different shapes. So they're neither congruent nor similar on that. What makes triangle three different than triangle eight? Triangle three and eight. Yeah, good question. Three and eight. Yeah. Um, triangle three and eight right here. Good question. Three and eight are different. Uh, three is a two by five and eight's a three by six. Now you might say, well, yeah, just added one. Well, remember, we're not talking about adding. We're talking about dividing like ratios. Six divided by three is not the same as five divided by two. Great question. So yeah, triangle three and eight. Um, six divided by three is not equal to five divided by two. Yeah, so you can't you can't just look and talk about adding. You got to think about the ratio. Remember, uh, simil similar triangles have equal size ratios. So we know, therefore, that three and eight are not even similar. Why not? Because if you divide the longest side by the shortest for triangle eight, six divided by three is two, whereas for triangle three, five divided by two is not two. So they're not even similar. So for sure, they're and they're not identical, right? They don't have the same exact sides and they're not even similar because their side ratios are different. So they're, they're, they're not similar, not congruent, totally different. Great question on that. So there we go.